stop. Uh, this was unit one assignment three. Different different, different systems. Okay, the cardiac system. The cardiac system is the, the heart is one of the main cardiovascular organs in the body. In the right atrium, as you can see, is here. It's uh, deoxygenated atrium, but passes through from the uh, superior vena cava and enters the tricuspid valve, which leads onto the right ventricle. The right ventricle uh, uh, what's it called? pumps the blood through the pulmonary artery, uh, it's pulmonary valve up to the pulmonary artery. Then you want to make the septum. The septum divides the chest, divides the heart, so that so you don't get deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood together. And then you then you go on to the left atrium. The left atrium is the top part, which is located here, and it's oxygenated blood from the lungs, which comes from the lungs through the what's it, the pulmonary vein, which leads into the mitral mitral valve. And the mitral valve leads onto the left ventricle, which pumps the blood through the pumps the blood through the aortic valve which leads into the muscle and the uh, aorta. Okay, next Okay, blood vessels, different kind of blood vessels which are stated here. Okay, arteries. Arteries have very thick, elasticated lumen and they, are, they push blood away from the heart. They, they carry blood away from the heart. They have a high pressure and uh, uh, arteries uh, uh, oxygenated blood, but except for the, uh, the pulmonary artery, which is definitely oxygenated. And then the smaller, uh, there are smaller arteries, which are arterioles, and they contract, they contract and expand, which emphasize the blood flow. So when, the, when, when it contracts, there's, more blood, uh, there's less blood flow when it expands, there's more blood flow. And this would be shown in uh, through vasoconstriction and vasodilation. Okay, veins, veins are deoxygenated except for the pulmonary vein, they are the, the large lumen but very thin. The, um, within the veins there are valves which have which stop backflow which is uh, having blood go backwards instead of forwards. The, the pressure is quite low compared to arteries and the walls are thinner. Capillaries, capillaries at the, uh, at the end of the blood vessels, they have the arteries. Arteries and veins, capillaries uh, allow gas exchange where, where, where oxygen and CO2 diffuses against each other. Uh, gas exchange happens as well, which we explain, explain later on. Uh, oxygen taken out, oxygen is taken out from the deoxygenated blood and given back with, and re replaced with CO2. They also, also blood flows slowly through this. For functions, these are the basic functions of the uh, the basic construction, as I mentioned earlier, when the, when the vessels widen, as you can see here, this is a normal, normal vessel. This is when we are when we are getting uh, when we need more blood around our body. This is basic construction when the uh, vessel becomes more, which the effect this has is when uh, the blood there is less blood flow in basic construction, more blood flow in basic dilation, and then when we get when we get uh, when we do exercise and we get uh, heated up such as like doing a 100 meter sprint or something, uh, we have vasodilation because um, more blood needs to flow to our working muscles, plus a hair on our, a hair on our body lies flat, which reduces heat and excess water, which is a waste product. Okay, delivering uh, O2 and nutrients. Uh, oxygen and nutrients are con constantly supplied to our body, which allow our cells to be working all the time, such as, as if our cells have more oxygen, we can perform our better weights. So, let's, uh, uh, like you say, bond, for instance, needs like you know, more fiber. Like, let's say like, more fiber. More fiber needs more more oxygen because he's a he's a marathon runner and a long distance runner. So, the more oxygen and nutrients he gets with his muscles, the longer he runs, the better he performs. Okay, removal of waste. Waste such uh, the body has lots of waste such as unwanted nutrients, lactic acid, which is caused by oxygen death which is done in anaerobic exercise, which is produced through anaerobic exercise and excess water. Okay, the waste, the waste is transported to a liver or kidney. The kidney uh, filters the blood uh, and keeps the blood clean, whilst the liver removes uh, toxins from our blood, such as lactic acid. And another waste product is CO2, and it's removed through breathing, through the love. And uh, lactic acid is produced uh, during like the end of, I would say the end of the 100 meter sprint. So that's when the, uh, the performer will develop uh, a burning sensation in their legs, which we get later on. Okay, blood. Blood 
is blood is made into red, which is cause of the red, uh, cause, cause of our red blood cells. But within blood, uh, there are white and uh, white and red blood cells. But blood is also made up made from plasma. White blood cells produce antitoxins and antibodies, which help us fight against uh, infections, which help us perform better. And red blood cells carry oxygen. And they also have something called hemoglobin, which is just what carry oxygen. And the clotting. White blood cells help clotting. Uh, it's an antitoxin. And it produces antitoxin antibodies. The pain is plug the damage, so no bacteria or anything can enter the, uh, enter the wound. Uh, the coagulation factors in plasma help strengthen the plug and leave a scab over arms. Uh, fighting infection workers, as I mentioned before, produce antibodies and antitoxins. The antibodies destroy the pathogen, uh, whilst the antitoxins destroy, whilst the antitoxin destroy the toxin that the pathogen produces. This basically explains that when the body uh, has a virus within it, the antibody will locate the virus and produce antibodies and antitoxins, which will go attack the pathogen, which is the virus. Energy systems. We have three energy systems: phosphocreatine, lactic acid, and anaerobic. Aerobic, anaerobic. Phosphocreatine PC system is a, is 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 basically ATP and phosphocreatine, may, um, which make up a PC system. The ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. Keratin is broken. The keratin phosphate is broken down to AT, into ATP. ATP is it's use, uh, usable energy for the body. It lasts only three seconds, so you will need to start up place, say, uh, a 200 meter race. <coughs> and you can buy water. Okay, PC, why PC? PC is a high energy compound, which is stored within our muscles. And it feels the next five to seven seconds, which totals up to 10. So let's just say, in a 100 meter spin, you will use P you will use ATP for the first couple of seconds, then you will use PC because of PC, and not uh, anything that's occurred. You say about finished his 100 meter in less than 10 seconds. Lactic acid is the nerve process system, which is the second system. It, it, it happens in long distance events, no short distance events, which are long distance and short distance, such as such as anaerobic events, such as the 200 meter split, the 100 meter relay, 100 times 4 relay, uh, uh, but this, is, this only happens when the ATP and the PC runs out. And it, Breaks down our muscle and like chunk. Anaerobic glycosis is a PC protein when glucose is broken down into down without oxygen. This lasts up for 60 to 90 seconds. Sports uh, suppose that you use it is like you can see here, Usain Bob will use uh, anaerobic glycosis because he will not be using, he will not be breathing when he's, he will be breathing when he's doing his unbeatable, but not, but not a lot. He won't take that much oxygen. This what happened. This this basically shield means is when when lactic acid is produced. This what happens. Lactic acid is produced cause a burning sensation in the muscle. And when player this will happen in the last ten I would say last couple of seconds of a uh, a race, or it happen in a marathon. Like when you get into those end, you start feeling pain in your tibia, and a uh, um, muscle towards the tibia, which which if not if if you don't stop the the race, you can cause to heavy damage. Okay, anaerobic system. Anaerobic system is a system which uses oxygen, which breaks down, uh, which where, where the body breaks down into glucose and fat. The energy system is the largest. Uh, this system is the largest uh, supplies the largest amount of energy, as it's a low intensity event, as, as it's a low intensity. But the body produces CO2 and H2O, H2, which is water, but through sweating, etc. It, however, it takes a long time to break. Uh, the good thing you say. The advantage of this is it takes a long time to break down, so you have more energy supply. It's the breakdown of glucose is 38 ATP, whilst fat is 129. Respiratory system. Okay, the nose. The navel cavity forms the inner side of the nose. Within the nostrils are hairs, which are called cilia. These filter dust, so are up, up towards the nose, up towards the top of the nose, which, uh, which we can't spit out. As such as it filters pollen, dust, and foreign bodies. Also, within our nose, it's warm and moistured. Okay, epiglottis. The epiglottis is the flap of our food, which blocks. Uh, basically, when we breathe, uh, no, when we eat food, it doesn't go down the trachea. It goes down the down to our stomach, so it doesn't go down the nose windpipe. 
الدبر عم حط حط ويم ويم يا ويس عن دار مثلاً. The fat the fat mix is the tube is the tube where it goes down the food goes down. The la the larynx the larynx is the voice box which controls what happens. Our speech more or less. It contains vocal cords. This connects to the trachea, which is here. The trachea is the masculine part, which, which breaks down into bronchospondylos and bronchi bronchio. And um, uh, in our trachea, we have rings of cartilage which help it uh, stay open, so it's not. It doesn't basically collapse. Not very long. The left lung is smaller because it has two lobes, whereas the right lung has three. Okay, the breakdown of the lung. The pulmonary. The pulmonary the pleural membrane is what surrounds the lung, which keeps it intact. The cavity, the cavity within the lungs lubricates uh, the uh, what's it called? lubricates the lungs, so it, th there's no danger towards it. Uh, the inner pleural membrane is the inner surface of the lung. The pleural, uh, the pleural fluid produces the lubricated fluid, it's, and it's produced by the membrane. Okay, bronchus, as I mentioned before, the trachea is the main part and leads onto two it leads onto the left bronchus and the right bronchus, which leads onto the, the bronchio bronchi bronchi and the bronchioles. This is when the bronchus is where the air 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 travels through and reaches our lungs, which also reaches our alveolar where gas exchange exchange happens. Okay, alveolar there are approximately three hundred million sacs of alveolars in each lung. So that's what Times two, 600, 600 meters, 600. Completely surround the alveolar. Oxygen basically goes from the alve alveolar no, to the capillary. Was it? Yeah, yeah. From the capillary, and then it, um, CO, um, CO2 goes back in and go back back into the lungs, which we leave out. The diaphragm. When we breathe, the, um, the diaphragm goes down. It relaxes. And when we breathe, when we breathe out, the diaphragm muscle, which reduces the chest cavity, and it's a breathing muscle. But the functions of the skeletal system, gas exchange. As I mentioned before, gas exchange, the diffusion of air and blood molecules, blood entering the capillaries, go from uh, a low, uh, low concentration to a low content to a high content. So the articular system here, uh, the alveolar CO2 is is diffused through the the wall of the alveolar into the blood and CO2 is diffused back which leads into the lungs. What happens when we breathe? As I mentioned before, what happens when the ribcage expands, the intercostal muscle contract, the diaphragm moves up and the pressure drops, but the chest cavity uh, increases. However, when we breathe out, it's the opposite. The ribcage goes in, the intercostal muscle relax, the diaphragm moves down, but the chest cavity reduces what's, what's there. But air pressure increases. Control breathing, neutral control, control from the other base. Within the brain, there's something called within the brain, there's something called the medulla, and it sends impulses to our our, our neuron which help us like to tell us what to do. So basically, let's just um, if I was walking, my brain would be instantly would tell my walk, my legs to walk. So it's the same with breathing. Your impulses will go will go to let's just your heart to your lungs and tell the brain to pump, so, uh, so when you're dehydrated, the medulla will tell to, uh, no, when you're, when you're, when you're doing a short distance event, uh, you, need, you need more oxygen, no, no oxygen, because it's, it's an aerobic exercise, so, so the medulla will tell the, uh, the body to pump faster, or pump less, depending on the exercise. And then there's, there's chemical control as well. Chemical control is when, when the body notices a CO2 and uh, carbon dioxide and O2 change in the body. So when there's not enough energy in the body, the brain tells the body to uh, breathe, breathe more or breathe less.